Hello, welcome back to History of Wine and the Vine. I'm Emily Kate. Today we're going to be making an entire bottle um, of Etruscan style wine. So a wonderful historian um, named Patrick McGovern actually found the traces of rosemary, thyme, and basil in uh, through biomolecular analysis of um, these ancient Etruscan amphora that were found near Montpellier in France. So um, we are going to try to recreate that today. So first of all, we have a French wine, um, and I'm going to open the wine and pour it here into our bowl. This is going to be like our mixing bowl. All of it. Okay, so we've got an entire bottle of wine in here. Then we're going to come over here and start grabbing some of our herbs and putting them into the bowl. So we have rosemary, thyme, and basil. And we're going to put them in in roughly equal parts. into this bowl and here I'll move the camera so you can see so um, now we're going to mix that together and we'll let it sit for a while it smells amazing this uh, bottle of wine is actually going to be a gift um, to my professor, uh, the professor who uh, is my advisor for my studies of history of wine. So this is a bit of a special um, recipe that I'm doing here that, like I said, was found in the south of France from roughly 5 BC, the 5th century BC. Okay, so as we're getting that together, and it smells amazing, I'm going to think about adding a bit of honey. Because so far, um, through the different uh, episodes or lectures, whatever you'd like to call them, uh, we've added a lot of things into wine, including um, vinegar added in the ancient Greece lecture, um, that was added into the glucose, so that was added just into the grape juice. Um, we've added seawater into wine, we've added pepper into wine, and we've added honey into wine. So we definitely think that the honey was the best part. So I think that in this mixture, in order to make it our own a little bit, we're staying pretty faithful um, to the Etruscan style from the 5th century BC, but it also would be interesting to add just a little bit of honey. So here I just have some honey in a bowl, and I'm just gonna place this onto the spoon, not too much, and add that into the mixture. Now there's a lot of different things that I've read about how these ancient wines um, were added to, sometimes they were boiled, sometimes um, they left uh, the, the actual ingredients in the wine, and then you would use a wine strainer. Sometimes they were put kind of in a, in a sack, and then the actual wine would come out, but it would keep everything up there. I'm definitely going to let this um, sit a while because <clears throat> it's kind of like marinating. Um, and imparting the flavors. And a lot of times these flavors would be um, rubbed onto the lid of the M4 or the jar, or they would be placed in, or they could have been put in right at the table, depending um, on how people wanted to mix their wine and how much flavor that they wanted in it. So I'm just gonna move the camera once more just to show you how this is going. We've got these. And we're just letting it mix in. So I'm going to 
keep letting that stay and um, and then we will come back later and I'm just going to place it into here in order to get it back into the bottle um, and we'll have a little mini tasting of that um, because there will be too much now to put into the bottle because um, it has grown. Uh, and then we'll do a little mini tasting of that to see how it is and then uh, close it up again. Okay, see you soon. Okay, welcome back. So we've actually had a chance for the wine to sit and I've been mixing it the whole time. I poured it into here. I lost a bit. Sorry. Um, and now I'm just going to do a very, very small amount of tasting. So just to see how the flavor has imparted how the flavor of the rosemary and the thyme and the basil and the little bit of honey has changed the character of the wine. It's, you can absolutely smell it. Absolutely. So it's this uh, lovely ruby red and it smells like, like you're cooking. You essentially are cooking, you're adding in these flavors and whatnot, um, but it definitely has a really, really aromatic the thyme and the rosemary really come through. Um, basil a little bit, uh, but definitely the thyme and the rosemary are quite forward. Mm. You get that sweetness of the honey on the palate, which is really, really lovely. And it just tastes fresh. I mean, these are all fresh herbs, um, and the freshness really comes through. It's a great wine to begin with. Um, and it just tastes amazing. So listen, if you have these herbs in your house, if you have honey in your house, try it. It is just tastes so delicious. And if you do, let me know down in the comment section. And I am now officially on um, Twitter and Facebook and it makes me so happy when my phone buzzes and I have a new follower. So um, subscribe down below on the YouTube channel and follow me on Twitter. I'll put a link in the description box, like on Facebook, all that good stuff, and have a great week. Okay guys, cheers.